another episode of Anderson's TV. If you liked that little uh, ACDC inspired opening, please like and subscribe exactly. and tick that notification button. Tickle it. Tickle it right. with the mouth. Now, <laughs> this is exciting. Um, back in 2020, seems like forever ago, it was in fact like three days ago. Um, <laughs> Uh, Anderton's um, started uh, working with some lovely people at Chicago Music Exchange, sharing ideas, collaborating, if you will, in a Calibla. new transatlantic way <laughs> post Brexit. <laughs> yeah. um, so yes, sharing ideas, and and um, they got involved with a few cool Fendery things that we were doing, and we've got involved with a few cool Gibsony things that they were doing, and and as the future progresses, there'll be more collaborative stuff. Caliblab. Hashtag. Calibre Um Mia <laughs> I was just thinking to myself, Mia where are we going with this? So, um, now these very cool SGs, which are slightly differently specced and very differently coloured to ye old traditional SG standard over here. Oh yeah. Will now be nice and easy for you guys to grab if you live on this side of the Atlantic Ocean as opposed to on that side of the Atlantic Ocean. Oh, is it that way or that way? I, I can't. I'm, just I'm get not my, sure. I'll get my um, own. So this is called, I don't even know if this has a name. I think this may even just be called like a CME exclusive. Or is it, limited is edition. It, is it a limited CME edition? limited edition. SG. Yeah. SG. So, um, yeah, 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 yeah. So basically the same body shape, same neck profile, same woods as one of these. Yeah, as you fashioned. can see, Yes, as you can see though, we have um, a different pick guard, so more like the 61 kind of pick guard. Yeah. We have different inlays. Yeah. We've got like the mini block inlays, yeah. which are kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, we still got the clues and have we got clues and tuners. No, we have the deluxe clues on tuners as opposed to the Grovers on here. Yeah, it's more 61. So actually, this it? is much more like a 61, isn't yeah, it? Is, In yeah. fact, to, to be totally honest with you, what I really should have done is asked for a 61, 61 yeah, instead yeah, of the should. standard there. I was thinking when I opened hey. the box up. Hey, but anyway. But the main difference. Are the pickups, Pete? Yeah, these are the, the T-type pickups. These are pickups that was made and used in the SGs between '68 and '80, uh, and it's pickups that you can't get, like buy them separately anywhere. So they were just made for the guitars, put in the guitars, and they're like these covered uh, SG tones. Mm. So they've recreated them and put them in these guitars. So they are special pickups, which is um, cool. That's the kind of a CME. Apparently, that was a, a real CME. Thing Dan is our contact at CME. Yeah, uh, you know this has got some cool. I tell you who is cool. I mean, how cool is that, Nathaniel? He's English, though. I know he is. I know. Uh, he goes under the he goes under like the Instagram hash of something like Ze Zeppelin. Yeah. Nasser Zeppelin Bauer. Ze what is Zeppelin it? Zeppelin or something. Like something that, like that. Oh, but oh eh, my! Unreal guitar aunt. player. Unreal. Unreal. He'll do two like he'll have this guitar with like two or three head. Headstocks on it, uh, necks on it. He'll just do. Can you just go and meet him in Chicago Music? I think he just does videos for them. I think I'm not sure if he does or not, but he's incredible guitar player, lunatic player, and English. Yeah. So hey, anyway, yeah. Don't know how he ended up in Chicago, but one day we'll find out. He liked the deep pan pizza, I think, and he moved there just for the for the for the Chicago deep dish. <laughs> we digress. So they wow. designed the well, they they kind of came up with this SG spec. So T-type pickups. It's the only guitar I believe you can get these on. You can't yep. buy these as unless you get the old ones, the right. old, old guitars. You know, there was great colours. Yeah, great colours. Olive drab with a torque guard. Uh, TV yellow again oh, with a torque awesome. guard. Yeah, and then you got this pink with a torque guard, and then you got this ox blood, which is probably difficult for you guys to see, but it is like a Almost like a dark plum surprise, isn't it? Dark plums. Dark plums surprise. Uh, and again, the same specs. Kind of looks a bit black in certain lights, and then you see it in other lights, and it's got that beautiful reddy purple hue. Yeah. Oxblood. Is that um, Hugh Grant? That is Hugh Grant, <laughs> yes. The Sorry, Grant. Grant. Hugh Grant. Um, but so, we just need to hear what they sound like, don't we? They, are, they come with a beautiful gig Sorry. bag. The proper, you know, like a heavy duty. Gibson gig bag. And that's um, pleather, isn't it? For those pleather, who, uh, yes, for the, for the vegan vegans amongst out us. There. Um, and they're the same price, I believe, or certainly over here, the same price as uh, an SG standard. So, you know, no surcharge, if you like, for doing the limited edition. Twelve ninety nine, is it? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, that's what We it have 50 of each colour arriving in 
well, we had like a very small number arrive right at the back end of 2021, yeah. 2020, sorry, and then the balance of those arriving over the next two or three months. Um, we may order some more depending on how popular they are. You never know, maybe we'll do some different colors, but this is basically this spec guitar you can only buy from Chicago Music Exchange if you live that way and Anderson's if you live this way. And just letting you know, I know it's all got a bit more confusing um, post January the 1st for our lovely friends on the other side of the English Channel or the Irish Sea, depending on which way you want to go. Oh, God. I know. But basically, if you live in the United Kingdom, it's 12 99 If you live somewhere else in Europe, the VAT will be deducted in checkout. So 20% reduction in the price as it comes uh, in comes the checkout, off. comes off the price because you no longer pay Her Majesty's government that dough. And the man from DHL will send you a nice email before the guitar arrives with you. And he'll ask you to pay your country's VAT which could be anything from 19%, I think, if you live in Germany, 20, yeah, 25% like 25 in Denmark. if you live in Norway or Denmark. Anyway, whatever, yeah. you'll pay your okay, VAT. Okay, that's how it works out. For, and man, hey. possibly, and this is the little bit that we're a bit confused on at the moment, but possibly, because these are made in America rather than made in Europe or the UK, uh, uh, the import duty as well. So possibly another three and a bit percent. So you might end up spending another 30 quid or something over and above well your done. VAT. So in terms of shipping, it's all the same as it was before. Mr. DHL man turns up every day at Anderton's. We give him some things to take to Europe and two or three days later, they arrive with you, uh, provided you've paid your, you just pay your, your VAT and duty to someone else now. I like UPS guy better. Do you? Uh, DSL. Yeah, the CNT guy as well. He's really nice. smarter uniform. Is that just a really nice van and you know, it looks cool. You can anyway. open the side door and jump out as the van is rolling off the street. I don't know what you're talking about now. I know. Right, Lee, so tones from this uh, start of the back pickup. Uh, so we do cleans? Is yeah, this I a would. clean yeah, kind of guitar? Clean. Okay, well, then I start on the next pickup. Derek Trucks, couldn't you? Um, it's classic three way selector, volume, volume, tone, tone, uh, T top, neck. Roll that tone off, get some jazzy tone. Middle position, it sounds great, doesn't it? It sounds really good. I really enjoy playing it. It was a little bit long for me there at one point because I was like, E is here, but I, no, here, but it's not, it's there. You have to get used to that because it's, you know what I mean? No, it's slightly. It is because the neck, the neck joiner on SG is kind of, it's, it's like it's here, a little bit more that way than, than on other guitars. So, um, can then roll off the back pickup. Oh, I can roll off the neck pickup. It's almost like a, it gets like a single coily. You know what I mean? Single coily. It's good pickups, man. Good pickups. Uh, bridge. But there are Dane.
neck. And you know what it really sounded good with was the Argo on top of the day. Yeah. yeah, with the uh, almost like um, uh, um, what's his name, uh, Gary Clark Jr. I like that. That's now, nice, isn't it? Now, what does the Oxblood one sound? No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds could a bit you, more bloody. Um, could you just, I'm, I'm keen to just do like a, maybe just on the clean sounds, just what's a very quick We have sanitized here, ladies and, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we were, we're, we're constantly sanitizing Are we in the same here? tier as well and everything, yes. just so you know. Floods of uh, tears. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, here is the standard. Now, this is not the 61, is it? But these no, are the, this is a standard. These are the 490 T&P. T&R. Uh, T&R, sorry. T&R. T&T. <laughs> Huh? Treble and, and rhythm. R. Yes. So, so here's the rhythm. And here's the treble. They're pokier. They are. But they're not more as clear. Aggressive. More aggressive, not as clear. So if I do the Dane again with everything at 12. Definitely not as Let's defined. Let's switch back. Let me swish back. Yes. Okay, and here we are back on the uh, T-type. Less more output, defined. More, less bass, I think, which is adding to the clarity. Yeah. Um, and just just less less gain, isn't it? Less gain and a bit less bass, I think. Was he uh, in Strictly Come Dancing, less gain? Yes, he was. <laughs> he was the one that used to go, seven. <laughs> Switch back. See, I'm reaching for the tone control there on the on. It's odd. It, this it's is definitely brighter, isn't it? The the uh, T I type. Absolutely one. love that pickup mm. on on this on this. Um, well, there you swap are. Back. Maybe it's the maybe it's the pink maybe it's the pink color. It's that definitely the different. pink will have something to do with it. It's much more clear and defined. So that that's I mean for me. If, I, if you were looking for an SG, this would be the one I would go for. Maybe not in the pink, but maybe in TV yellow. Maybe in the pink, maybe the... Definitely in the great. pink. Definitely in the olive. I mean, we've seen mm. already the pre-sales before the first batch came in, I think were heavily in favor of the uh, olive drab and the pink. But hey, yeah. look. There's something for everyone. Cool. If you have got a TV yellow uh, Gibson, Les Paul, you know, the, the Les Paul Junior or whatever it is, yeah. and then you get that to match it. Yeah. Okay, Lee, but there we are then. Is there anything else you want to say? Do you want to There's just nothing do, else uh... I'd like to say other than, Pete, I love you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's just play something else. Um, Shall I play the Oxblood one? Play to the see Oxblood if it sounds one. a little bit different. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe. The links are below for these guitars. They are absolutely delicious. Yes. We will run out of these, I'm sure. And I think uh, so. you very, may well have quickly. to wait until, until deliveries arrive. But we'll do our best to keep up. Um, and yes... Uh, once again, apologies that uh, maybe there's one or two more hoops to jump through if you'd like to buy one of these in Europe. But trust us, uh, they're very small hoops. And uh, yes, <laughs> and, and don't worry, we'll still look after you just the same as before. So, right. See you later. See ya.